Well, it wouldn't be Mardi Gras without the glamorous drag queens. But oh. the drag culture is not a new or modern phenomenon. In fact, the first known drag reference was from 1870, describing a male actor in women's clothing. But since then, the world of drag has been predominantly a man's world. Girl, that ain't for long, though I had to do it. <laughs> Women are starting to stake their claim in drag culture, and while their high-heeled steps may be small for now, they're slowly making strides. He's probably the most renowned drag queen the world over. RuPaul burst onto the pop scene in 1993 with the single Supermodel. And initially, he was an anomaly. A man dressed in glamorous female clothes, lip syncing. But it wasn't until his long-running TV series, RuPaul's Drag Race, that the drag scene then became part of popular culture. Today, men in drag are the mainstay of the entertainment industry. But girl, it is time to move over. Meet Spacey, a theatre student who's been doing drag for the last five years. She's one of many emerging female queens, better known as AFAB or assigned female at birth. There is absolutely no difference between a man drag queen and an AFAB drag queen at all because the art is about the costume, the makeup, the artistry of it all, and being able to perform on stage. And, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, if you don't have the skills, then it's not going to pay your bills. Mm -mm. Spacey and her friend, King, the drag queen, are regular entertainers at parties and events. Both are adamant that women have as much a right to the drag world as men. Through drag, I get to explore this aspect of my femininity that otherwise I would have never have got to experience, um, especially considering um, my sexuality, I'm a lesbian, and any time I sort of like fem it up or like present very feminine, I kind of get read as straight and get unwanted attention, that sort of thing. But this way, I'm still experiencing all of that, the glitz, the glam, but like in a way that's completely my own. Women have always been in the drag scene for as long as it's been around. It's just only now that it's sort of become more regular for you to see people like myself. Um, yeah, we've always been here. It's just kind of been a little bit pushed to the side. And that's something Sexy Galaxy can attest to. She's been a drag king since the early 2000s and says the gender bias at the time made it difficult for women in drag to be taken seriously at clubs. When that translates into the gay scene, it's like the women are still not being heard as a community. And we weren't, we weren't seen as important enough. So we would have the side rooms and the back rooms. And because we just did, obviously still didn't have the, the wages that men did, we didn't have that pink dollar associated with our community. So because we didn't have that, we weren't important enough. Do you think it's changing now? Completely changing, completely. Um, Coming back to Sydney after not living here for 15 years, it is so different. And I think those young kids are growing up in a different world. So they have a different mentality. They're, they don't have the mentality of bullying, where you know if they, if they want to claim a space, they don't have to, to bully. They want to claim a space, they go out and be themselves. Sexy, who changed her name by deed poll, says the LGBTQI movement had a lot to do with pushing for equality, not only within the general society, but within the queer community as well. And she welcomes the resurgence of the drag king. So for me, a drag king is the opposite of a drag queen. So all the elements, as, as you can see, all the elements that take a drag queen is a drag king. So the glamour, the makeup, it's all that combined in, but with a male persona. Um, because I see masculinity not as a butch thing. You know, when I'm sexy, I see masculinity as very glamorous and camp. Now, as more women like sexy take up the battle to claim space in the drag world, it may be time to say, all hail the king. Four, two, three, four.